Hey everyone, it's just come to my attention that the the Kennedy Space Center is fixing to have a new launching. I think the count the next launch time is uh, up here in the left, T minus five days. The reason why I'm doing this video is to point out a few things that I find extremely interesting. SpaceX rocket launch, and then it has Falcon 9. And this is really interesting, the number 9, and the fact that they're using the, the word Falcon. And I don't know if you've followed my uh, videos regarding spiritual Egypt in the news, and then I did the series on the idolatry of Egypt and Horus. Uh, little baby Horus, who was the baby hawk of the idolatry of Egypt, the one that the fake virgin Isis. Well, little baby Horus is a sparrow hawk, and uh, they also call him a falcon and what have you. And I find it very interesting that they're using the word falcon in this, and along with the number nine. When we start reading further into this, it also talks about a dragon. It talks about SpaceX Dragon spaceship or spacecraft. And it talks about it's going to be on display for a limited time, whatever. But that's not my point in my story. Uh, or making this video is is the SpaceX a dragon okay so now we have little baby Horus Hawk Falcon number nine and now we have a dragon as you know you can go to this website kennedyspacecenter.com and go check this out more in detail for yourself I just wanted to point out the names on these this stuff that's coming out of NASA but the Falcon 9 is talking is saying that it's a SpaceX two-stage rocket manufactured to successfully transport satellites and their Dragon spacecraft into orbit. Currently the only rocket fully designed and developed in the 21st century Falcon 9 uh, delivers payloads to space aboard the Dragon spacecraft or inside a composite fairing. I just find this really amazing. And then we have a word Merlin, okay? That was what, this wizard, right? Okay, so we have, now we have this wizard. So we have little Horus, the falcon, and then we have the dragon, uh, Satan, the serpent, and now we have Merlin, who is a magician, uh, the SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket is designed so that even if two of the engines shut down, the rocket can still operate. Okay, then it says here in 2012, SpaceX became the first commercial company to rendezvous with the International Space Station, which is ISIS. Uh, although these flights have been unmanned, SpaceX continues to work toward their goal of one day carrying astronauts to space in Dragon's pressurized capsule. Okay, now I have another website I wanted to check out. And this is at spaceflightnow.com. It's up here in the top left-hand corner if you want to go check it out for yourself. This is written by Stephen Clark on January 8, 2015. This is cargo flight first of many SpaceX launches planned for 2015. And um, here's this Falcon 9 launch coverage. And over here on the side, it's talking about plasma driven satellites launched from Cape Canaveral. Photos of Falcon 9 stands ready to launch dual satellite stack. And I want you to take a look at this Falcon 9 rocket. It says SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket as seen at Cape Canaveral's complex. Complex 40, the number 40, okay? Launch pad before going vertical. Oh my goodness. The Heavenly Father is really amazing. Um, check out this dragon on the side of this rocket. And you can see the number 9 right here. 
And then here's the dragon on the side of this rocket. Isn't that amazing? But here he is, dragon. And here you can see the number nine. Oh my goodness, in our flag. How about that? So here we are. <laughs> number nine and I'm going to read from uh, E.W. E. Bullinger's number in scripture about the number nine because this is really important according to E.W. Bullinger number in scripture the number nine on page 235 it says the number nine is a most remarkable number in many respects it is held in great reverence by all who study the occult sciences and in mathematical science, it possesses properties and powers which are found in no other number. It is the last of the digits and thus marks the end and is significant of the conclusion of a matter. It says it is akin to the number six, six being the sum of its factors. Example is three times three equals nine and three plus three equals six and is thus significant of the end of man and the summation of all man's works. Nine is therefore the number of finality or judgment. For judgment is committed unto Jesus as the Son of Man, and it talks about John verse 27, Acts 17 verse 31. It marks the completeness, the end and issue of all things as to man, the judgment of man and all his works. It is a factor of 666, which is 9 times 74. And then it goes on and it says that this is uh, the sum of the 22 letters of the Hebrew alphabet is 4,995 or 5 times 999. It is stamped, therefore, with the numbers of grace and finality. It goes further and it says that uh, in reference to Sodom, uh, it talks, it says, recording the judgment of Sodom is marked by multiples of nine. And then it talks about on page 236, it says, the sieges of Jerusalem have been 27 in number, or three times nine, and they are stamped with the number of divine completeness and the number of judgment, number nine, as the significance of other numbers is involved and is illustrated in these 27 we have we give a complete list of all Jerusalem sieges and of course this goes back to that number 28 that I you know the 28th one uh, siege that's coming is the Antichrist yet future but the siege will be raised by a glorious deliverance not by an angel but by the Lord himself coming from heaven and that's in Zechariah 14 so anyway that gives us a heads up about the number nine and of course we know the dragon is in revelation 13. so i think this is very interesting development like some of y'all may have already seen this and already know about it but it's just now been brought to my attention and i just wanted to point it out and if you don't know about the falcon and understand what that represents it represents horus That goes back to that idolatry of Egypt, which our Heavenly Father uh, brought the children out with, with a high hand. I mean, with wondrous miracles. And so, um, anyway, just be watchful. And in reference to the number 40. Okay, 40. 40 days and 40 nights was the temptation of Christ. Then we had the, the children of Israel who wandered in the wilderness for 40 years that's probation in this rocket launch from number 40 it says here which is 40 is the launching pad from Cape Canaveral of these uh, Dragon SpaceX number 9 rockets it says here that it is important it's an important number both on account of the frequency of its occurrence and the uniform of its association with a period of probation 
trial and chastisement. It's not judgment like the number nine, which stands in connection with the punishment of en enemies, but the chastisement of sons and of a covenant people. It is the product of five and eight and points to the action of grace. Number five, leading to and ending in revival and renewal, or the number eight. This is certainly the case where 40 relates to a period of evident probation, but where it relates to enlarged dominion or to renewed or extended rule, then it does so in virtue of its factors four and 10, and in harmony with their signification. This, uh, the Space Acts will kick off a busy 2015 calendar playing catch up with liftoff of a Dragon Supply Ship. Dragon Supply Ship for the International Space Station set for Tuesday after a delay from, sept from December. And then it says at least a dozen and perhaps as many as 16 space missions are on Space X manifest this year launching cargo to the space station. Commercial communication satellites and scientific spacecraft for NASA. Okay, and oh my goodness, this just got so many numbers on it. Also, in SpaceX plans for 2015, the first launch of the company's Falcon Heavy Mega Rocket, which will be powered by 27 engines. There's been 27 sieges on Jerusalem, and now we have 27 engines. Uh, when it blasts off from the Apollo, Apollyon, and the saddle, the shuttle era pad, launch pad 39A at Kennedy Space Center in Florida. 27 Apollo. Uh, critical abort tests of SpaceX crew Dragon spaceships are also untapped for this year, but they are not counted on the company's operational manifest. At least, uh, I said they're planning 12 at least launches scheduled for 2015. But companies, customers appear to be expecting SpaceX to deliver even more. 12. Okay, so they sent la uh, last year, they sent six Falcon 9 rockets, ended up blasting off last year, it says. And note this most of the missions will take off from Cape Canaveral's Complex 40 launch facility. I just find that very interesting. Like I said, they got one that's fixing to launch on Tuesday. Evidently, there were some delays. It was supposed to uh, take off in December, but engineers wanted extra time to analyze a problem observed during a pre-launch static fire test where the Falcon 9 rockets were ignited for a brief firing on the launch pad. The engines did not run as long as planned. So SpaceX opted to stand down while they resolved the problem and tested the engines again. It says SpaceX has programmed the Falcon 9 rocket's first stage, a cylindrical structure roughly 15 stories tall, to fly itself back to Earth and make a precision landing on an ocean-going vessel, dubbed the Autonomous Spaceport Drone Ship. And then as we get further down into this, it talks about the different launches that they have planned and the bulk of it is communication satellites it's just showing the different ones this is um the falcon 9 rocket will launch from florida this was in february mid-february with two boeing built communication satellites the first spacecraft to use and uh, use all electric propulsion to reach their operational posts to 22,300 miles above Earth's equator. And I find this an interesting number. Two, two, and three. Um, for personal reasons. Um, <clears throat> the EU 
TELSAT 115 West B and ABS 3A satellites owned by Paris based EU TELSAT and Asia broadcast satellite of Hong Kong and Bermuda and Bermuda, how about that? Uh, will be dropped off in an elliptical transfer orbit by the Falcon 9 rocket's second stage. Most communication satellites carry liquid hydrazine fuel to boost themselves the rest of the way to their final orbits. SpaceX next launch from Vandenberg Air Force Base, California is set for March the 31st. With the Jason 3 altimetry satellite for NASA, NOAA, the French Space Agency, CNES, and EU METSAT, NOAA's counterpart in Europe. And then it talks about later in the year, SpaceX plans up to four more Dragon, Dragon resupply missions, launching aboard Falcon 9 rockets from Cape Canaveral. They're currently set for launch in April, June, September, and December. December. Um, <clears throat> a package of 11 small data relay satellites for uh, Orbcom Inc. are due for liftoff from SpaceX Florida launch pad in mid-2015. And then you have SES of Luxembourg. Mm. One of the world's largest commercial satellite operators expects to launch its SES-9 communications payload on a Falcon 9 rocket sometime between beginning of April and the end of June, according to a senior SES executive. Mm -hmm. And then we have Japan Sky Perfect JSAC Corp. Israel, Spacecom Limited, and the government of Turkmenistan, which say they have satellites due for launch on Falcon 9 rockets this year. My goodness. Um, another set of all electric propulsion communication satellites, EU Telsat 117 West B and ABS 2. You know, be watchful, everyone, and understand the significance of some of this stuff and um, I, f I find it extremely interesting that we have all of these different things that are involved in just this this program right here so anyway talk to y'all later thank you and uh, y'all just be watchful